Hi, how are you? Welcome to the first lesson of 3D Max tutorial. Today I'll start as I promised before with 3D Max tutorial, this program. So in the final result, we will be able to do like this project, like this home. We'll do it by 3D Max. This one also another example. This example. This, this and also this one so by finishing this course we'll be able to design like these designs so this is 3d max i will explain in this lesson only user interface which is this interface so we will start with those four screens what they are and why this screen is actually a this screen the screen of uh, the perspective view so for example let's start doing something like box i'll draw a box i'll explain everything but now i just want to make it clear for you so if i'm drawing this box this screen for the perspective view this screen as you can see here it's written front view so it's 2d front view i could minimize and customize this screen by alt and w please notice alt and w so i could minimize and maximize this screen so this is 2d and also alt alt and w to go to the main mode which is for screen if i select this window alt and w so i could show this window only as a full screen for the 3d max so this is the front view this is the top view and this is the left view so now you have a question in the perspective view if i want to show the left view or front view or top view how okay it's easy so just by from the keyboard by clicking t to go to the top view l left view and so on so here we can start working with 3d max now you will ask me this is 2d so how can i show it as a 3d mode so just by clicking f3 from the keyboard f3 i could shade this as a realistic view and if i click again f3 it will looks as a 2d so in 3d max they don't call it 2D or 3D. They call it wireframe, as you can see here. Here, wireframe or realistic or shaded. So it's depend upon the view that you will use. So here I use, as I said before, Alt and W. So here, this is the left view, and this is the top view by clicking T, as we said. So if I click V from the keyboard, V. I will see this viewports so I could use front view by clicking on it or V again back view and so on so it's shortcut for the 3d max V it means show us those options so what they are the directions for the project that you are using and the camera views also so if you go here and select perspective view immediately it will show as a perspective so how can i control and make it like this control this view just by select it and alt clicking alt from the keyboard and scroll from the mouse then start moving so as you can see here now it's on the scale so i could make it bigger smaller and so on so you have a question control z you it will go to the back as any program so how can i go to move move in 3d max is by going clicking w from the keyboard so when i click w i get this which is called pivot in 3d max so this one x y z it has those three x's x y z as a mathematic so here y 
only it go to y axis here x and this one z which is top and down up down up down this y and this also x so those three axes for moving and also from here as you can see here this part which is this x i could control it like this by the way if i came here this x y z I, as i said i could control them if i came here on the number you, you could see those two so if i just click here right click immediately it will go to zero here right click it will go to zero and here also so what's the purpose of this thing let's go to top view when i click when i make this one zero and this one also zero it came in the middle of the project so when I export it to another program like Lumion, if I want to render it by Lumion, not here, so it will go in the middle. It will it won't go other ways. So this is 3D Max. Now let's start with the first point, which is the most important point in 3D Max. It's the units. So if I worked before with AutoCAD and I have a plan, I worked. I work the plan by meters so I have to remanage the units in 3d max also meters so how I have to go to customize units setup here then system unit setup and from here I could choose my projects by which unit I use it for I draw it by AutoCAD or maybe you want to use 3d max immediately without AutoCAD or any other program so here just you have to select the units so I'm always actually working with meters so as you can see here it's meters so now okay then okay here so this is the meters L and W let's go to this view here this part this part this is for the modifying drawing the shapes 2d shapes and 3d shapes for the lighting also for the camera for the tip tools and other tools i will explain them later this part for the for the selection for the snap for the rendering and options so next tutorial i will start explaining this part and other things and finally we will project like what we said in the beginning.